All right, guys, well, it's time for an aesthetic walk around video. A lot of you have asked for an updated video in terms of the aesthetic modifications that I've made to this Q50. I did one about nine months ago, but seeing as how we're growing at about 700 new subscribers every single month, nine months ago, that would be about 6,000, 6,300 new subscribers since that point. So I guess a lot of you haven't really been updated in terms of what we've done to this car. And to be quite honest, a lot has changed in that nine month period. So let's go over it right now. An obvious aesthetic modification is the wheels. These are the Forge Star F14s. They are 19 by nine and a half plus 29 offset. Everybody's always asking about the wheel and tire setup. And just so it's here in one video, again, 19 by nine and a half Forge Star F14s. These are uh, the gunmetal or anthracite uh, in color. Tires, 255 4019 front, 275 3519 rear. Don't ask me again. You can obviously see we are rocking the chrome delete. That's just 3M vinyl. I did it myself. Uh, from Jalisco's Carbon Fiber. We have the M-Style M uh, mirror caps. These are gloss black uh, with the sequential turn signals. The su sequential turn signals are from Amazon.com. I will put links in the description below to all these things if I can think about it. We have in the rear carbon fiber rear diffuser. Uh, I don't have a link to it, so don't ask me. <laughs> I got it from a subscriber who had an extra one, gave me a great deal on it, I appreciate that. Uh, we also have the carbon fiber high kick duct spoiler. I believe this one I found on Amazon, but they run out really, really fast. Uh, eBay has them every once in a while as well. Uh, you can't really tell. Uh, the the uh, tail lights are tinted. They are VHT nightshades, uh, sprayed uh, four coats, wet sanded, cleared six coats, uh, wet sanded, polished, and waxed. Then we have the sequential rear signals as well. Uh, chrome delete continued and then this little carbon fiber piece god this car is dirty carbon fiber piece from Jalisco's carbon fiber along with the chrome delete the chrome on that door handles is carbon fiber wrap window tint 20 percent window tint all the way around except for the front that's the sides and the rear front is nothing I don't know if you consider the big brake upgrade part of the aesthetic mods because it's performance driven we'll do a performance uh, modifications walk around video here shortly too uh, but these are painted uh, Bahama blue metallic so I'd consider that a visual modification uh, we got the amber delete on the headlights as well as vinyl uh, eyelids or eyebrows whatever you want to call them these are vinyl wrap not the plastic pieces that you get on Amazon or eBay we also have the always on module Again, link in the description below if I can remember. That keeps your fog lights on even during the daytime. Then we have the sequen sequential front signals from JR Lights. And then again from Jalisco's Carbon Fiber, the RBG uh, color changing front emblem. This is carbon fiber background with the gloss black. And obviously we have the gloss black grill that you can see. Amazon three piece spoiler or three piece front splitter. Uh, that has held up quite well for almost two years now. It's actually for the 2018 Q50 non-sport. Uh, it fits better than the 2015 one, in my opinion. It goes flush to the wheel well. Nothing nothing too crazy for visual on the interior, except for, of course, Jalisco's carbon fiber, gloss black custom steering wheel with carbon fiber accent. Pretty dope, love this steering wheel. And then we also have the blue start stop button surround from Amazon. I love that piece actually. <laughs> kind of adds a nice little pop of color. How could I forget these? Little infinity valve stem caps. I guess I'll go through a couple in here too because they are aesthetic modifications. Technically, uh, I wrapped the Megan Racing strut tower brace and the speed culture decal looks pretty dope. It does rub a little bit on the hood. No big deal. And Z1 intake tubes, they don't do much for, for performance. They do um, kind of insulate engine bay air a little bit better because they're silicone than the, than the rubber tubes do, but uh, it's mostly, mostly aesthetics under the hood as well. I wanna say that's it guys for visual modifications. Nothing too crazy. Um, maybe you could consider the BC Racing coilovers as part of an aesthetic modification. I don't, it's performance, but it does give the car kind of a beautiful stance. So we'll we'll include it. A couple of upcoming aesthetic modifications that I might consider. A lot of people are pushing me to do the sport bumper upgrade. I really like the look of the non-sport bumper with the uh, 
front splitter. It doesn't look too bad to me, but for content purposes, maybe we'll do the swap to the sport bumper. People want to know it, so maybe we'll do it. Another thing I want to get is side splitters. It's one thing that this car has been missing. I bought some full length side splitters, but I haven't even mocked them up. I don't know that I'll, that I, I don't really like them. I don't really like them even off the car. So that's why I haven't put them on the car. But if you guys have any um, brands that you like or any experience with any side splitters, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate it. I'm looking for some right now. I know Jalisco's carbon fiber has some pretty awesome ones, but uh, whether or not they're in stock, I don't know. I appreciate you guys watching this little rundown of the aesthetic modifications on the Q50. I hope you liked it. If you guys are interested in a walk around for the performance modifications on this car, let me know in the comment section below too. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate the thumbs up. We'll see you next one.